I want to get the dishes into the oven that take the longest to cook. So let's start with my butter herb roasted turkey. And that recipe starts off with two sticks of softened butter. And to this, you just want to put in here a teaspoon and a half of poultry seasoning. And a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic. Then there's two tablespoons of garlic herb sauce mixture in here. And this is just garlic, herbs, and flour. But what this does is help bind together that butter. Now to this, I want you to cream it together, which is why it's important that this butter is nice and soft. This is also a great recipe, by the way, if you want to make a nice garlic bread or toast in the summertime on the grill. All right, now that this is all combined together, I'm going to show you how to make a log because that's going to make it a lot easier for you to slice up and place in your turkey. You want to do that with a plastic sandwich bag. Put your butter all the way down here. And I want you to leave about a quarter of this in the bowl because we're going to use that on the outside of the turkey. This is going to go on the inside. It's actually going to go in between the skin and the meat. Take your hand and push everything down to the bottom of the bag. And then you're just going to roll this and there's your log. Now you can put this in the fridge or the freezer. I actually like the freezer a little bit better because it gets nice and hard. And you're going to cut this into little coin pieces to put in between the skin and the meat of your bird. You see that? Pretty great. Now what you need to do is take your scissors and just cut this like that. That's the easiest way to get the butter out of here. Now before I cut that, I want to prep my bird. And what you want to do is come in here and take the skin and loosen it away from the meat so that you have nice little pockets to put your butter coins. And make sure you don't tear the skin. And this butter is going to help baste the turkey from the inside. All right, now what I want to do is take my knife and I'm just going to go in here and cut quarter size medallions of my butter. You can see all the herbs and you just know that this is going to be delicious. Then you're going to just take your medallions and you're going to lift up your skin again and put this right in here. And make sure that you evenly distribute these underneath the skin. Okay, now for the outside. Remember I reserved some of this nice soft butter and I am going to spread that onto the outside of the bird and be very generous with this. You can even make an extra batch if you want to. Let's get all the rest of this butter on here and it's best to do it with your hands. Now to the bottom of the pan, I'm going to put a couple things. These are pre-sliced celery and carrots. Spread this around, creating a nice base. And then on top of this, I'm going to put half a bag of onions. Now, for this, you can use the pre-chopped frozen but thawed onions. Spread it around evenly. I'm saving the other half for the inside of the bird. And then I'm going to put a whole box of chicken broth into the pan. And this is really going to help me create the drippings that I need for the gravy. This is a great trick to give you drippings that are perfect every single time. Now to my bird, I want to add a couple things on the inside cavity. The first thing is the rest of the butter that's left. And this is going to melt out into the bottom of my bird and really add great flavoring to the thighs and the legs. Now on the inside of here, I want to add some lemon. The lemon is going to add a nice citrusy, fresh flavor to this. And what's also going to add great flavor to this are going to be some fresh herbs sage, marjoram, and also rosemary are traditional Thanksgiving flavors. And I'm going to put three of these in here. This is going to be wonderful. After you have the two packages of herbs in here, remember there's three, I want you to put in your onions, the rest of your onions. This is going to add additional flavor to the inside of your bird. Now put your last package of herbs in there. Turn this because if your stems are on the inside and this is coming out a little bit, it's going to make a beautiful presentation as well. And this is going to reduce down just a little bit on the inside anyway. Pop this into your pan. I want to move this to the side. Now normally you might put one of those big metal thermometers in here, but I'm going to use one of those great pop-up timers that you get in the grocery store. They're available anywhere. And see this little red button here? It pops right up when this hits 175. So you're going to know when your turkey's done and it's going to be perfect every time. You want to stick it in the thickest part of your bird and push it all the way down. Now salt and pepper. Just take your salt, sprinkle it over the top just like this. And a little bit of pepper goes a long way. Be careful with the pepper. Delicious and a beautiful presentation. 
perfect for Thanksgiving. Now I've preheated this oven at 450 degrees, so before I put my bird in, I wanna turn it down to 325. Remember, 18 minutes per pound. This is a 12 pound turkey, so it's gonna be in here for about three and a half hours. 